Welcome to Law Logical, where I discuss everyday skills essential for effective practice. Are your clients becoming disengaged, unforthcoming, and withdrawn? Well, here are three communication skills to combat interview stagnation and ensure client comfort, engagement, and satisfaction. Active listening utilizes non judgmental statements or questions which demonstrate that you've understood the client's verbal and non verbal communication. Reflecting and reframing are two key elements of active listening. Reflecting includes statements or questions that reflect the client's own words, while reframing includes statements or questions that acknowledge the emotional content of the client's own words. These techniques encourage the client to talk more candidly and voluntarily about their situation, furthering the flow of the client interview. Body language. Accounting for 55% of a message's meaning, nonverbal communication is essential to interpret the meaning your client is trying to convey. As such, in order to be an effective interviewer, good communication verbally, tonally, and physically is essential. Open body language and mirroring your client's own body language can make your client feel more comfortable and trusting. Furthermore, leaning forward and nodding along will signal your interest in the conversation and encourage the client to continue talking. It is also crucial to note that various cultures have alternative views on eye contact, so it is an important element to establish prior to your client interview. Facilitative or intrusive, understanding and utilizing different methods of questioning is essential to create a constructive and positive interview experience. There are various alternative questioning techniques to elicit information and responses from your clients, including reflective or reframing questions that demonstrate empathy by acknowledging your client's statements and emotions. Additionally, the individual wording of questions can sometimes be the most crucial element of client interviews, often determining a client's response. For example, questions beginning with what will often lead to facts, while questions with how lead to feelings or emotions, and questions beginning with why will lead to reasoning. Active listening, body language, and appropriate questioning are three skills that can cultivate and enhance your communication to improve client satisfaction and comfortability, allowing for easy interview progression. So how will you use these techniques in your everyday practice?